Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Minecraft! Yes, this is Minecraft, and uh, we are back, and I have some good news. I might have talked about things blowing up using transformers, blah blah blah. I don't know if there was a difference between 1.7 and 1.10, or later 1.7 versus early 1.7. All I know is, I mean, I'm, I swear by this, and maybe it was such an early version before when m most people even tried it, I don't know. But if you had... Um, this generator pr produces 10 EU a tick. This machine can accept 30. Uh, a tin cable uh, can do 32 EU as a tick. If I had four of these, this metal former over here, and then basically ran it, it would have nuked the line. Uh, not the machine, probably the line. If it was a higher a wire, it would have probably nuked the machine. Um, but I think this might have been a bug or a new testing or I don't know what it was. Either way, apparently that doesn't exist anymore. We can do whatever we want without any risk to that as long as you keep it under. So don't ask basically i have no clue let's go ahead and get our rubber anyways i'm really excited because i love ic and i for some reason for years i thought ic was completely broken now so um i have no clue what was going on there maybe i was an idiot maybe there was more to it than you know immersive no 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 um <laughs> industrial craft um generator there it is okay so we're gonna start working on these guys uh so i'm gonna get a couple of these going to be honest uh yeah so uh here's a quick tip um nether brick nether bricks are awesome uh they provide us furnaces uh in this pack because oh, there we go uh what the frick don't ask. You can do this, though. There's a balanced grid. There you go. Um, because furnaces are either that or that. Um, it's annoying that that is the recipes because it shouldn't be that, but that's how it is. Um, I don't know if there's an easy way to make this, to be honest. I think you can do it from nether rack, yeah. So I guess if you want a lot of furnaces, that's how you're going to have to do it. Uh, but that's fine. Uh, so we got our furnaces. And we're going to make, I don't know, let's do one, two, let's do, hmm, you know, it's 20, you know what, we're, we're going to go crazy. We're going to do five geothermals. Yeah, we're going to go crazy. Uh, and then we're going to have to make these guys, we're going to need some glass. So glass should be in this one. Ah, I felt a little weird leg there. Might just be my internet. No, the TPS looks perfect. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and uh, make this glass here. Just your regular 16 panes. They can be a pain. Um, here we go. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, crap. So, yeah, I need 10, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, what metal did that use? Tin casing. Oh, we need some more tin casing, my friends. Just one more, actually. And that's not going to get it. There it is. And that should get of us our casing anyways. Okay. And then we should be able to make our last cell here. And... Uh, da -da -da. Are they called cells? Oh yeah, they still are cells. Cool. Um, things change over time, so, you know, who knows, cell might be a, a horrible word, or... What? A rotten pear, huh. Um, yes, we don't have enough here. What are we running out of? Copper. Ooh. I think I have enough, though, for copper still. Yes, we do. And uh, we'll make one more of these. Right? Oh, no, no, that's that part. That's fine. But uh, for the copper, sorry, uh, for this one, we need one more. Okay. And then we can bring all this back, but we're not going to have enough, I don't think. So we're going to have to get more redstone in here to build a bunch more. But uh, here we go. Boom. And then, yeah, I guess we're going to have to get as much redstone as we can. And then we'll put you around here. Oh, no, that's the good one. Or doesn't really have a good or a bad, but that one anyways. And then still need a wee bit more there. Excellent. There you go. And then we can get rid of... You know what? Uh, let's get rid of... There we go. Okay. And then we should be able to make this, but we won't have enough buckets. 
So one, two, one, two, one, two. And uh, okay, there you go. Five generators, and then five geo generators. Oh crap! What did we run out of? Cell should be good. What did we run out of? Oh, it's one for one. It's not two. Uh, I mean, we don't have to run back all of a sudden. You know, I could have built the, the four right away, but I was like, no, no, no. We got to do this. One, two. I didn't realize it was a twofer. Um, I don't know if that had changed or that's something different, but... Oh, by the way, you want to see something cool? Um, it doesn't matter because we're not going to run out of energy. You can use uh, redstone to power machines. Um, it's getting power, but you can actually use redstone for a temporary power source. So for some reason, if you're duping insane amount of power from whatever reason, um, that's what you could use. There you go. And then... Uh, we can do this wherever, whenever. Uh, let's put it here. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're gonna go ahead and set all this up with drawers. I already got the drawer stuff set up because I tried to use this for something else and it didn't work out. So I went out and swam in a lava lake. Yep, literally swam in there. I ate these, by the way. Um, these only last a minute and a half or so, but you put the slime balls on the drying rack, you get this, and it gives you fire resist for a minute and a half or so. So I had fun doing that. I can make re fire resist, of course, with a brewing stand, but uh, I wanted to do it this way, and I had a blast doing it, so I'm happy I did that. Um, okay, so there's you, and then we're missing one thing here. You know what we could get rid of? Some tools here. There you go. Even this one's a pain right now. Probably shouldn't be wearing, using that at all here. Are these matching? No, they're not. Oh, that's a flint you. Okay, there we go. Uh, we're missing one thing. Oh, we used it up. That's why. Okay, so we're going to have to do transfer node here. Uh, smooth stone, was it? I guess it's smooth stone. And tin. So we're going to need uh, one, two. And transfer node. We don't have tin on us? Weird. I don't think you use tin often in IC. Oh, we did, actually. So, yeah, we kind of do. Um, there you go. Transfer node. And then, uh, so we're going to put this here. We're going to put this here. We're going to open the drawer, put the lava in there, close the drawer. We're going to put this, we'll put it on top. Um, oh, that could be a problem. Maybe it could be on the side of it. And then we're going to need a frame. Um, I've been making enough of these frames. I've never made frames. I, I mean, okay, that's a lie. I'm sure I've made frames here and there. I've never used frames like this ever, um, as far as I can tell. So this is kind of cool and new to me. Uh, but I know the recipe anyways. It's a simple recipe. It's like vanilla. You should know most vanilla recipes. But um, since it was new, I usually would look it up. But uh, this one was simple. Um, I don't know if that is the vanilla recipe, to be honest. It could be modified on this. I don't know if this is going to let me do that from there. One, two, three. Uh, we'll give it a try. I don't know. It'll be easier for me to go over here and grab lava. Uh, I don't know if I can put the item frame to make it do the output on the side of it, but this will be a, a ch you know, way to check it out. This is how we do it now. I'm above it. But that's how you withdraw anyways and go in the geothermals. Oops. Sometimes you're, when you try to do something, it doesn't fire off right. Boom, 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 boom. So, of course, it's not working right now, and... <laughs> okay, that doesn't work, apparently. And then you got lava in there. Okay, so we have to put it on top, apparently. Which is not a big deal. Just changing it up a wee bit. There we go. It's going to double connect on that one, which is... Eh, like, it's kind of annoying looking. You can fix it, I think, in this version at least. But uh, there we go. It's probably going to go to one than the other, etc. You can upgrade the speed on them, but we don't really have the... Uh, I think you need, like, special power for that kind of stuff, so that's more later on, but you can give it a speed upgrade, but it uses uh, a global power, basically, for the mod. It's a new thing they changed. It's uh, eh, weird, different, but uh, not a big deal. Uh, but once they all settle, it should work 
pretty decently without having too many problems. Um, there was one more thing I was going to look into this mod because I was thinking, hey, that might be interesting. And it was related to this, but maybe not. I don't remember now, to be honest. Does it still do it when it's like that? Yeah, I guess it does. Cool. Uh, so there's our power setup. Uh, now what we're going to do is make a crap ton of cabling. There you go. And you know what? Maybe I will put... Why aren't they in here, Kane? Oh, they are in there. Let's use the one that's half charged. And I'm going to put this in my inventory. Just don't right click on it like an idiot or you're going to ruin some of your base. I'm going to use this to dig with because it'll be faster with this material anyways. No clue what he's talking about. Is he cheating it or? There you go. Ooh, interesting on the darkness there. There you go. I guess we can bring it all the way here. You'll lose power at a distance, but since I'm using geothermal, meh, meh, meh. Don't really care. So let's get rid of that and we'll hook this up. There you go. And there we have it. And these are slowly powering up. Awesome. Okay, so yeah, geothermal is up. Uh, Mesa Raider, uh, industrial. I think this one's going to be a little harder to make. Uh, sorry, Mesa Raider. Oh, wow, that is a bit different. Um, going to need a chest anyways here. And, uh, you know, let's do this. So we'll do it in tin just because tin is always slightly cheaper than iron. And you usually need more iron than tin in the long run, but who knows in this pack? Um, but I'm I'm taking the call anyways. Gonna get our basic machine case here, and then we're gonna go ahead and make these guys, which a smooth stone, I guess. Do do I think it needed two, not three, Kane. Two. Isn't it nice to be organized and neat? Now I have to not be lazy and throw it all back, though, of course. Uh, ooh, iron plates are a problem, my friends. Not anymore. And there you go. One, two. And here you go. Macerator. Double trouble! <laughs> I'm sorry, I get afraid, freaked out because I'm like, it's going to blow, it's going to blow, something's wrong. <laughs> that shouldn't be a problem. Even across chunks, nothing should blow up. Um, yeah, see, that's cross chunks, so it shouldn't be a problem. I think that's only Greg Tech stuff in 1.7 that would blow up across chunks at least, but we shouldn't have any of those problems. I should probably try to force these chunks to be loaded too, but eh, not that that'll work. What the fudge happened here? What the? Shift click? Oh, yeah, that was weird. That should work. I shouldn't have that many loaded, but it doesn't harm it because I don't have that anything really running in those chunks anyways. But uh, I'll get proper chunk loader. That mod apparently breaks way too much, so eventually we will get a real chunk loader. 
uh, for that. So you ready for this? This is where you guys are going to be like, damn, son. Uh, so we're going to take uh, this ore here. Actually, let's let's go even smaller uh, sample here. Um, let's just do one. We're going to macerate this. So there it goes. It's working. Nothing blew up. I like how that one's blinking. Huh. Interesting it's taken the one from the furthest and not the closest. That's an interesting thing. There you go. Three. I repeat, three iron dust for that. How friggin' awesome is that? So we can make probably a furnace now. Electric furnace. Uh, furnace. And you got your electric furnace here. Ooh. Whoa. Whoa. What the frig is this? <laughs> <laughs> Look at induction furnace is cheaper. No, not really, because it requires that. But what is all this? To hold me. I said on uh, Discord for uh, all the mods, I was like, what the hell, I need someone to hold me. <laughs> uh, time to look at the advanced one. He says, have you seen the advanced one? No. Uh, let's type in advanced in here. A white golden nugget, <laughs> an ender pulsar super circuit maker, empowered palace crystal, and then of course the electronic circuit again. So LV wire is easy. Basically, it's just copper wire. Oh, only made in an immersive engineering press. Wow. Okay. Um, oh no, you can still make it with. Never mind. That's to make their copper wire, but you can still make it with regular IC here. Woo! Um, okay, so LV is easy. Uh, the quartz resonator is a block of quartz. Uh, just block of quartz, huh? And obsidian. Okay, so that's not hard. Uh, then uh, glowstone is the same thing, but glowstone. And the microchip and printed circuit. The printed circuit is an atomic reconstructor. The atomic reconstructor only. Hmm. And the printed circuit board is slime balls and oh, silicon dust. Oh, a mineral sizer. Energized fuel, huh? Wow. So it looks like I might have to start working on some of these off camera, like kind of working on them a bit, show them to you and then play around with them because it's getting to the point where things are getting challenged where, you know, there's a lot to learn, a lot of things to do, and it might take me a while to learn it. And uh, which it makes sense. That happens, right? Um, but, uh, this is really cool either way. So we can do parts of it anyways, but we can't do all of it. Um, let's go ahead and, uh, we'll, we'll get rid of our metals in our inventory for now. Uh, let's see here. There we go. And then we'll go ahead and grab or deposit all this in here. There you go. And then we'll put this in here and you in here. And there we go. So um, best not to have that activated in our bar. This is IC stuff then. So, uh, oh, what about Squeezer? I probably, um, 
Isn't it squee squee extractor? Sorry. Oh, extractor is simple. Crushing gear. Oh man, we got to get everything back in our inventory. Oh, we needed a fresh clean start anyways. Two pistons. I should have two pistons available. Um, and then I need uh, iron plate so we can get iron plates. And then tin plates. And then uh, bronze. Then we need uh, basic machine casing. Oh, no, that's, yeah, yeah. That was the iron plate. Uh, oh, yeah, and then iron for those. There you go. So, do, 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 do. There you go. And, oh, they don't stack. Okay. And uh, you here. And you here. There you go. So, we don't want to put this here because I'm going to end up putting a scap here, this here, something here probably. I don't know. We'll put it over here somewhere. It doesn't really matter, but I just want it out of the way in a sense. So, here's the extractor. This is where we put a lizen in. Uh, let's go ahead and use up the durability of this tool, but won't bother staying out more than that. And we'll go get some resin. So, this should give you a 3x resin production. So we don't have to smelt it and stuff like that, which, uh, it, to me, honest, is not a big deal for me anyways, but, uh, I just save some work anyways. Okay. There you go. We got it all. Well, what we can get. Now we just got to go and find them all laying around. Is that it? Might have been one or two that went into a tree too, but who cares? This will get us going. So this will let us get three times the rubber. And, I mean, now it's using our geothermal power, etc. So that's nice. And you might notice these don't run even if you use like a little micro bit of power. They don't, you know, burn it off. These are as efficient as something gets, basically. Look, it's hardly even running. It just ticks like that. If that was this, though, it would have fired off and would have kept going no matter what. So, huge deal. And there you go. Three rubber. Awesome. Uh, what else can we make, then? I'm kind of interested machine-wise. It's been so long since I played it. Semi-fluid generators. That's like diesel and stuff. I don't know if I'll use that because uh, we don't have uh, oil, at least not in the normal sense in this pack. Um, Sterling generator, water mill, windmill. Electric heater, liquid fuel stuff, manual, steam turbine, anything here I want. Nuclear, not quite yet for that. Condenser, bottling plant, huh. Bottling plant, what is that, I wonder? Might be related to reactors. You got your old IC pump here, oh god. Some good times. Oh yeah, that's for the uh, iron fence. That's so you can have magnetic boots. I think your quantum boots. Maybe it works for all armor boots. But uh, basically lets you kind of climb up. Um, but I don't think people really make those anymore. trade mat uh, Oh, you know what we could do? Bat box. Well, I shouldn't say that. But uh, oh, tin casing. That's actually kind of cheap. 32 out. But it would screw up my max capacity, so it's not worth it. But I might need to charge something with it. Uh, the first thing I would use to charge up with would be um, electric wrench. Whoa, they have new tools here or something. Electric co. Oh. Some of these I just haven't played with since they've added them. Um, okay, so uh, electric wrench. Oh. Apparently you can pick your IC machines. I would rather to use this, but I can see the reason for the nerfing. Okay. 
Okay, so that's interesting. So we could just pick our machines. I thought I would have to do more than that, but that that's just crazy. Which one of these were cheap? None of them? Oh, God, I felt so wrong. What the frick? I, I picked up my metal former. Oh, that felt... Oh, see how they all activated, by the way, to get that extra burst of power? Awesome. That felt so dirty and weird. Um, that was strange. Oh yeah, you can detect ores and stuff. These are usually expensive though. Um, what else can we do right now with IC? There, there's probably a couple other things we can do, but I don't see anything that really is needed or stands out right away because we got to get into some of the other stuff. So I have to figure out that, learn that, etc. Um, which is probably going to be more like I play off camera a bit with that set up something and then show it to you because, uh, I mean, who knows? I don't know. Uh, recycler. I wonder if this oh, requires chips. You get your macerator, of course. Cropatron. Oh, you got the ore washer. No, it's got more advanced stuff. Honestly, right now, the only thing I would really care about is probably uh, being able to uh, furnace so I can use the macerator and uh you know duplicate some of my ores and materials but i would need the electric furnace i wouldn't want to use a regular furnace so i guess my goal is to do that um and figure out some of this modded stuff so um what not electric just type furnace there you go uh what was electric furnace did i skip it somehow um but yeah i'm gonna have to figure that out so i have to figure this out which is Electrum Nuggets. That's easy. Electrum is just in the smeltery. Uh, it's just a mix of silver and gold, if you don't know that. But uh, here it is. Silver and gold. Very easy. Don't have to worry about that. Uh, this one, I think, is just redstone around a piece of quartz. Easy. And this one is... Oh, here it goes. Uh, something called Nichrome. Nichrome. Uh, which I assume isn't so easy. Um, it might be, but I'm assuming you're going to have to get this Nichrome blend... Which, yeah, it looks like it's this metal alloy or something or other, which is nickel dust, chromium dust. How do you get chromium made from a chemical extractor? Yeah, okay. So we're going to have to learn all this off camera. I've seen pictures of this. Not going to happen live because I would, it would be kind of just be like the entire time it'd be me looking at wikis and stuff like that. But I will set it up, learn it, and come back with it and uh, hopefully be able to teach you my ways so you guys are a little more successful when you play it. Thank you guys and girls so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and we'll see you wonderful people next time.